Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Living with Kia. We are doing stocking stuffers today. So if you want to know what to stuff your stockings with, just stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to start with the actual stocking. Um, so we have super traditional stockings, um, and I got this from Michaels. Um, or you can go for something a little cool um, and different. They have like the little bags, and they have them in different sizes, also at Michaels. And I kid you not, this was like a dollar fifty. Um, and it's just a really cool way to not like just have traditional stockings. So those are my little stocking ideas for that. The next thing I want to talk about is hygiene products. They're like some they're one of the easiest things to get to fill a stocking. So I have a few examples for you guys. So um, miniature lotions. I got these from Sally Beauty. Four dollars. It's like the easiest way um, to fill your stocking. They're under three ounces. Your person can travel with them. They can do any with them, anything with them, pretty much. And boom, stocking filled. I also have some body washes from Bath and Body Works. Um, they recently had a sale on candles. Now they had a sale on all bath products well body products and I'm sure they're gonna have another sale very soon just stay on the lookout on their website sign up for their newsletters like they're just having like all of these sales during the holiday and you can pick them up this was $4.95 I kid you not like these are usually like $13 or $14 it was $4.95 so I stocked up on these and then the last thing that I picked up, which was on sale at Target, were these electric toothbrushes, which I thought was a pretty cool um, stocking stuffer. It's a little big for my stocking, uh, to be quite honest, but something cool that I think um, the people in my life would enjoy. So next we're gonna talk about some knickknacks that you can get. I got all of my knickknacks from Target. There's like a section in the front of the store. I don't know what your store looks like. Mine was like, as soon as you walked in, there were all these like little knickknacks ranging from a dollar to ten dollars. Um, I got this wonderful little bell. Um, it's so cute, it's ceramic, and I just, I thought it was super adorable. And again, it would range from a dollar to ten dollars. I got this wireless charger super awesome who doesn't need a little technology in their life you know something that they can use or not use like they'll love it I promise they'll love it and then my absolute favorite is like <laughs> like little stuff for your home <laughs> so I got this pot holder and a uh, cloth and they had like different colors, they had red, they had this green, and I thought it was so cute, like I had to get them and like fill my stockings with these because they were so adorable and of course I had to get one for myself, you know? I love it. Okay, <laughs> so that's it for knickknacks. And the next thing you probably need is super easy, like, if you have no idea what to do, what to get, get some gift cards, okay? <laughs> um, we get our gift cards in this house from Kroger because if you get them from Kroger, you get double points for gas. And who doesn't want to get their 30 cents off of gas sooner rather than later? I mean, if you got a Kroger's near you, and you get your gas from Kroger, go get your go get you some gift cards. Okay, get your double points. Get all kinds of gift cards. Visa gift cards, food gift cards, Chick-fil-A, uh, Amazon, everything. They got everything and it's double points. Like you cannot go wrong. And last but not least. Get you some greeting cards, okay? Um, I got these from the Hallmark store. 
but you can get them anywhere. Marshalls, Home Goods. Um, you can even make your own. Go to Michaels. Like they have a set of cards. You can get them in all different shades. I have some. I have cards like in my house for whenever I need them in like a golden beige color. I didn't want the plain white, and it's so cute. It adds a special touch. Everyone will love them. You can't go wrong with greeting cards. I mean, if you have nothing else to give. That's it. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll love it. So my little bonus for this video is I'm going to show you guys how I'm inviting friends and neighbors to church for this holiday season and I'm really excited because I was talking about this with a co-worker um, and then I saw it again at this church holiday event and I was like you know what I just have to do it so I'm going to do it with you guys and hopefully it inspires you to maybe invite some people to your church for the holiday season or just as another stocking stuffer um, for your friends and family. So here are some of the little invitations that our church gave to us. I go to Fellowship Church here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We have four locations and we also have some locations in, my, in Florida. So South Biscayne and I think downtown Miami. So if you are interested, please feel free to come and join us for our Christmas experiences and you can find the details for those experiences on the website fellowshipchurch.com but let's get into it so I um, punched little singular holes in um, each of these cards and I've got some hot chocolate I did hot chocolate with marshmallows and I did the regular milk hot chocolates. You know, want to give people a little variety. I have some uh, twine that I'm going to use to string um, the little cards in. And we have some mason jars. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the mason jars with some hot chocolate. Wrap the little gift, the little sign in twine. And there we have it. We're going to have a whole little gift to give to our friends, family, and neighbors. Now, if you're not inviting anyone to church, feel free to like write a cute little note for your neighbors um, and put that on twine. And do the same concept. You can add peppermints. You can add little chocolates. You can add whatever you want to this idea. It's super cute. It's super fun. And I'm sure the people in your life will really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you next time on Living with Kia.